All right, how's it going everybody? So I wanna talk about the short game and how I practice my mental approach to it. I read this book from Bob Rotella. He's a golf sports psychologist and he has some great points. I wanna mention just one of them. He mentions to play to play great, don't play to play poorly. And obviously that is almost common sense. What's gonna make you really play great is your short game. I'm very precise when it comes to practicing your short game and what I like to do so I like to kind of just watch some footage and see what areas I can improve on. So I just set up a few golf balls up to the fringe of the green. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm actually trying to make it. It's going to instill confidence and trust in your short game. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to see and visualize and feel like what those kind of shots feel like. So this is a very short chip. I like to start off easy and then go to a much more difficult chip in my practice sessions but here all I'm trying to do is get the feel I already have the feel down because of that first chip and I'm just all I'm trying to do is replicate it and then from there if I can make two chips out of this session of balls right here all I have to do is move on to a more difficult chip and then try and replicate the same idea here on this chip this is a downhill chip versus the first one which was an uphill chip and this one's going to be much more difficult to judge the distance and the feel because this rough is much thicker on this side of the green. So it's going to grab the club a little bit. So what I like to focus on here is making sure that the bleeding edge of the golf club or the wedge hits the ball first and strikes the ball first. It's going to allow for a much more consistent strike and definitely allow you to place the ball on the green wherever you decide to hit it to. And I'm taking some big strokes here just to feel what a flop shot would feel like out of this type of terrain it's definitely one of my favorite shots to play because one it allows the ball to stop faster and check up better and it also allows for better trajectory let it bounce maybe once or twice and then roll out just a couple inches and moving on to one of the most difficult chips on this portion of the green so from here we're definitely hitting up to more of a plateau or mesa portion of the green what i like to do here is i like to take half to three quarters of a swing just to kind of gain that nice rhythm there with the with the leading edge striking the ball first so pretty much the same type of terrain. I like to give myself, you know, buried lies, fluffed up lies. Most of the time when you hit the ball in the rough, especially when there's that much rough near the green, you're gonna find yourself having these buried lies. So I like to place my ball kind of like in these little ruts. From there, I can pretty much judge on how hard to hit the ball. And it's really good practice because, you know, practice how you play. And if you give yourself really difficult chances, and really difficult practice it's going to make you better in the long run so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next one